Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm John. Together we are the Coastal Kids. Today, we have set ourselves a challenge to catch as many different species as we can in six hours. It's high tide now, and we're gonna hunt around till low tide. We're gonna use everything from our hands to fishing rods to nets. How many species do you think we'll find? As it's high tide now, we're going to fish off the pier and catch some of the harder to catch species. Species number one, a little wrasse. Species number two, a common shore crab. This is something we weren't expecting to catch on the rod. Our next species is a tiny, tiny baby pollock. Check out the colors on these guys. The next species we found is the awesome hermit crab. Hermit crabs are master of disguise. They use wingle shells to hide in. If you look really closely inside of this here periwinkle shell, you'll see a hermit crab inside. As they grow, they have to find bigger shells to match their size. The next creature we have is a blenny. Check out the camouflage colors on him. Blennies are one of the prime hunters of a rock pool, and along with gobies, they're one of the most common things you'll find. The cleaners of the rock pool, the shrimp. There's loads of little blennies and a big crab underneath that rock. We're going to get some underwater footage and see if we can tempt them out. Here is the two crabs you saw in the underwater footage. The male and the female will hide under a rock with the male protecting the female. Here's a cool thing about both these crabs. They're both missing exactly the same claw. We've got two more creatures from our adventure. A common eel and a five braided rockling. Check them out. Both of these fish secrete a slime that keeps them from drying out at low tide. It also makes them really hard to pick up. He's escaping. Another species we find is the netted dog whelk. It's one of the many sea snails we'll find out on our coast. Most people think that these are really boring, but they're actually really fascinating because they're really good hunters in the rock pool. This is a five bearded rockling. Five bearded rocklings can get way bigger than this, but for one in a rock pool, this is pretty big. Another fish that's really similar to the rockling is a butterfish. They also secrete slime, but they have these really amazing spots across their back. These here purple urchins are really common on this beach. You can see the purple on the tips of their spines.
Urchins are a member of the starfish family, and these lighter colored spines here are actually trip feet. And that pinkish reddish thing in the middle is its mouth, and also its butt. Hey guys, check it out. We have just found a ragworm. I would lift it up for a show, but these guys can give you a nasty nip. It always pays to check underneath the rock, because you can find stuff like scallops, rag from sponge, blood sponge, baked bean sea squirts, and killer worms. That was an epic six hours on the shore. We found so many creatures, but we don't know how many we found. If you could count, put it in the comments down below. That was an op awesome episode. Please remember to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.